Good morning, it's Friday the 13th of November um, and this morning we're reading um, Psalm 114 um, and this psalm is, is so bold and, and playful, there's something very playful about it, um, especially um, there's a lovely image of the, the hills skipping like lambs and, and I love that image, it's, it's, a, it's yeah. a great psalm of pictures. And this gives a, a very different perspective on uh, the exodus from Egypt than what you actually find comes across in the, the narrative itself earlier in the Bible. And uh, back in Exodus, you feel the tension as they're escaping uh, at night and then being pursued all the way to the Red Sea. Whereas in this psalm, you get a very different angle. Um, it shows all creation sort of in a kind of joyful animation responding to what God was doing, including those hills skipping like rams. Um, this is also worth knowing as we come to read this, this is one of the, the group of psalms that were the last psalms that Jesus would have read uh, on the night that he was betrayed, on that Passover evening. Um, and of course, we understand now the significance of what was unfolding in those moments as he prepared to bring about a far greater exodus and rescue than anyone could have imagined, uh, which would be accomplished on the cross. So the, this psalm points us forward to that moment. So we're going to read Psalm 114. When Israel came out of Egypt, Jacob from a people of foreign tongue, Judah became God's sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled, the Jordan turned back, the mountains leaped like rams, the hills like lambs. Why was it sea that you fled? Why Jordan did you turn back? Why mountains did you leap like rams, you hills like lambs? Tremble earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool, the hard rock into springs of water. Sorry, I took one of your verses That's there, right. didn't I? Um, and uh, verse eight, I mean, where this psalm concludes, um, really captures the sense of miracle that there is in this, this as it were, this different perspective on the Exodus, um, and particularly delighting in God's care and his provision. Um, and, and showing how God has power to transform what looks least promising into a place of plenty and, a, and a, a source of joy. And of course, again, that is what Jesus was doing through the cross, becoming truly the rock of our salvation for us. Mm. And, and in the same way, we may be looking at something in our world or in personally in our lives at the moment, which feels as hard as rock. Um, and the last place we might look possibly for God to cause his blessing to flow into that place or into our lives. And this psalm points us to, to the cross and reminds us that God can transform every situation mm -hmm. and bring incredible good into it and mm -hmm. out of it. Um, and, and we're going to, to close this morning with a song um, from Joanne and Neil um, that speaks about God's light and love bringing hope. Um, into every darkest place and, and lowest moment. Yeah, so we're, and we're thinking um, <clears throat> as we hear this song, not just of the challenges we face, but also those working in the NHS at the moment, watching those rates of infection that have gone uh, higher than expected yesterday, um, and just show how challenging things still are, even though we've had the uh, encouragement of progress with with one of the vaccines um, we know we're still in, in, in a very difficult time for our nation and we want to pray particularly for those uh, working on the front line and in the NHS so thank you again to Joanne and Neil and, um, and whatever you're doing this weekend may you know God's blessing.
Shout your praise, our hearts will cry. 